once you pull it because it might be attached to a second pull pin as well. Great. Almost like a MacGyver thing. <laughs> it's in this dive plan. It's just that the instrument will be moved at a later date. Okay, so it looks like it's attached to a second pull pin. What does that mean? Do you want to pull the other pull pin, or? Yeah, I think we need to pull both of them. Pull the whole mess out, see what happens. Uh, yeah, we could try. I don't know what it's, it's, it can't hurt it, but I might be tight around a corner or something. If you can pull it out, that's great, because that would release the frame. Well, it's a whole mess of rope, so. Uh, no, I don't think so. <laughs> yeah, we're fine. I mean, uh, I think AJ, um, he w I was going to wake him up around 3, oh. but we're going to recover around 3, so. Just let him sleep. But that's enough to get the cable out, right? Uh, well, we don't know until we have them out because we can't see what the, is underneath. No. Sorry, Derek, there's nothing useful in here. Okay. Thanks Thanks for check. Thanks for tracking it down. Yep. Pull Did that come free? free? Yep. So oh, perfect. Cable's free. Was there one or two pull, pull pins in there? I don't I think the cable's free, yeah. So if we want to... Pull the porch in, Danny. Huh? Retract the porch. Yeah, let me get the arm um, out of there. So we can land on a position where we can take the cable and put it in that parking position. Right. Okay. Yeah, it looks like there's a second pull pin on there. Okay, that's good. That's good. Nice. We're going to need it out anyways to get it on there. So, uh, so the problem is the fletch is in backwards, so... Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. We're going to have um, to uh, turn the fletcher awesome. around. There are some bungees holding uh, the loops on, though. Should we take care of those before we unplug? So that is a that's a good s idea because if we do the bungees first, we could probably fly the cable without ever having to land again. Yeah, good idea. <coughs> and we're gonna have to turn the Fletcher around too. That's fine. I can do that. You can do it. <laughs> I'll do it right before we pick up the. Uh, Cable. All right. Remember, there's a monument right behind you. Oh, it's on the other side. Oh. Oh, yeah, it is. Okay, good. So, who, you know who does the site layout diagrams? Yeah, a few people do. Um, uh, I believe Damien is, w is one person. Do you, so do you can you at do some point tell them, by? not during this cruise, but if you What's see them in the halls or something, that the digital stills, we're taking a lot no. of no. images no. of the platforms, yeah. which they're, really give them details on which cable is over what, yeah. and it, like yeah. normally it's really that hard to tell in video. Yeah, so to grab the, uh, yeah it's a good resource. Um, we'll have to track down those once we get the deliverables. Yeah. All right, well, you got what you came for, so... Scram. Just, uh, <laughs> just, uh, good work, Fabio. Thanks. Thanks for all the information. Uh, good night, Fabio. Wrist, wrist up first. That's good with the elbow. Wrist up there. And wrist right a little. Mind you, from there. It'll do for now. I'll rotate to the right, 90. Oh, you want to grab the loop? Rotate right to the oh. 90. You want to grab the loop? Okay. Yeah. Uh, rotate a little more so I can see the jaws. Uh, that's good. Okay. Lock jaw. Okay. No, we're not ready yet. I might have to. Uh, so I'm gonna grab the plastic swing ring. The, swing the wrist to the left.
Good. And then uh, wrist up. And then uh, retract the porch and then elbow in. Porch retracted. Uh, bring the elbow in on the. Elbow down. I think. Uh, rest up a little more. Shoulders all the way up, I'm assuming. Yep, I never touched shoulder. I'll just have a look at it. Uh, you can rest up some more if you got it. I don't think it's got enough power. It keeps letting off. Yeah, keep pressing on the button. Okay, that's, that's all the way up. Um, this is the digital stills camera. Uh, I think I can get it from here. Can you zoom in there for a second, Pete? Yep, I can see that pull pin. I see it. Yeah. Okay, go wide. Okay, reach in and grab that pull pin. So, uh, see here, pitch, your pitch is down, yeah, you want to, uh, Zoom in video. Good. Mm. Uh, that should just come off by itself. Uh, we need to free Yeah, don't poke it in there. <coughs> Grab the bungee and give it a tug on it. That's what I was in the process of doing. Oh, well, don't touch the cable. Go wide, video. Need to see the whole arm. Give it a yank and then let her go. Yep, bungee will come out. No, it won't. Okay. Just don't, do not grab the cable. It's not worth it. I'm gonna grab the uh, two bands and between yeah, the. Yeah, I'm going to, but you zoom zoom in video. Thank you. There you go. <laughs> Almost. You can just. Uh, well, that'll work. There you go. Okay. <coughs> We've had the bungees hang up before when we're flying it up, and it's a real, okay. really, really painful. Okay, hold on. Pull the arm out. I want to go for the right hand side one, so you have to move your arm out so I can see. I can't see what we're meant to do over here. Just grab that plastic ring and pull it out. So what do you what do we think here with this bundle kinda doing this? Yeah. I think we'll yeah. I think it might fall off. Can we yeah. get the arm in and kinda try to put it back on? Does that make sense? Yeah. Yeah. Do you think that's doable? Otherwise once we me, uh, pull it it's gonna it fall. See okay. the arm again? Let me see the arm again then. Move a bit fast in there, make me nervous. Ah, oh, sweet. We can, and I, we might do it on this side. I think on that side, the rope's still the easier once it gets out of there. <laughs> might might have to do that, we'll see. But I think you can get in there and do that. What are you talking about? Yeah, uh, awesome.
is going to be in freaking way. <laughs> uh. It might still be easier. I don't know. It's up to them. Um, you can grab either. Wrist, wrist right. It might be that the that the monkey's fist is too close. I don't know. Because by the time you've got it here, it might be too tight. I'm Wait, not sure. What are you talking about? No, no, no. I'm, we're just talking about monkey's fist or PVC. But either one, whatever, whichever one you want to grab is fine. I'd grab the PVC. Yeah, I think the monkey's fist. Yeah. PVC, I think, is the right call. Or bungee. <laughs> I've never seen that. <laughs> Pretty much grab whatever you want, I guess. Grab whatever I can get. Yeah, it looks like that there is what that pull pin released. Is that not and that rope? What's that? The pull pins we did earlier released that and I'm thinking on the same on the other side holding that ADCP down. So I think the ADCP is free now. Great. Not just the cable but also the instrument. Fletcher needs a freaking redesign. I threaten that every year. Needs a bell mouth to get into it, not two flat slots. <laughs> Good night, Fabio. Mm -hmm. Hi. Okay. Um. It's the range and bearing from from here to the. We get sorted here. The the ADCP is out here, right? Yeah. It's east, yeah. East. I think we east. said east 58 meters. There's no, uh, he didn't put a waypoint there. Just out here somewhere. Roger. All right. <coughs> All right. Okay, Danny, can let go. Relaxing the jaw. Roger. Want me to stow it, or um, I'll just swing it out. Yeah, you can close the jaws. And it's just—it's already stowed. Just wrist left and wrist down. I 
same in your position you were before. Now I'm going to land on the ADCP so we don't yank it off there when we unplug That's what it. I mean, kind of catty corner on both the tops. Yeah. Right. Let me know when you're stable. Well, as you can see, oh, we're balanced from that ADCP marble here, off. so... Yeah. Yeah, they already did, right? Ice, yeah, we did that, like, a long, long time ago. Okay. Perfect. And last dive. Yeah. Simon. Oh, this used to be the chief officer on the Tully. His name is on there. I thought they were named after dogs. Yeah, but I don't think si this is not a dog. <laughs> I think this is the... Could be a dog name, Simon. that okay you're frozen yep frozen thanks beautifully done okay here's a we're over here all right let's hope for the best <laughs> we definitely pulled it so it should come off should Just watch the CTDs uh, behind you there. We should have uh, knocked that rope loose. Watch the CTD, I think it's behind you. No, it's not behind me. It's off to my left. CTD is uh, four meters in this direction, so you must be pretty much on it, Dan. Uh, I don't see it behind me. I know we have some cables going directly underneath us. We don't want to hit it, it's going to be a mess. Right here. You fly around that way, you think maybe it will come loose? Well, I'm just looking with my F camera there, so you can see. I thought it was more to my left. But Yeah, on the site layout, it's four meters at two 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 six six from the platform. Yeah. Oh. That one. Yeah, that one. I don't have to worry about oh. it now. <laughs> I hope it doesn't plug. That's why you couldn't see it. Frustrating. Oh well, we can just lift it up later. I don't know anything I can do about it now. <coughs> can you get them to turn off that CTD? So it doesn't pump? Uh, yeah, Possible. just... Doesn't want to. Uh, my bad. I should have freaking bumped it out of there when I had the chance. Well, if you get close to it, I can reach over and knock it. I could pull on it hard. 
harder. Yeah, probably not <laughs> yeah. a good idea. I'll go grab that rope as soon as we get up next to it. Can you just sit down next to it or? No, you'll never be able to reach it up there. Might have to go and undo that knot, pull it. Uh, it's looking that way. I think it's still attached. And yeah, it's it pop loose. Hold on, it's pulling out of my hand. Dan. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I see it. Just push out and we can push up against it. Let me think for a minute. We have the cable now, so. If you can set on this bumper bar right here. Go of it, porch out a little bit. Porch out? Let go of the connector first. Yeah. Porch out? Sure. Okay, hold what you got there. Is that porch all the way out, is it? I don't think so. I think it can come out a little more. Okay, go ahead. Lift the arm up just a little bit. Okay, hold what you got there. Close. Okay. Video. I'd prefer if you get in there with the arm first before you zoom in, because I can't see what's happening with the rest of the arm, like where it's hitting the connector or whatever. Arm up a little and you're hitting the connector there. Might have just been a piece of fiberglass you had there, I think. Easy, easy. 
I wonder if you've got both ends of it. Hold on, no. Don't spin it too much next to the cable. You can zoom in now. I think you'd grab both, Danny. I think that's yeah, what I think so there. too. Hold on, let me let me swing around a little, back out just a little bit. You can see one single side. Can I get bubble cam adjusted? Yeah, you you got one camera on set. Okay. Okay. Push in there a little. Yep. Go ahead, push in. One's all you need. You see about grabbing just. I can try and get your bubble cam, but. <coughs> have to go in with your jaws halfway closed. Yeah, you got the frame. Move it in ROV now. Okay. Come out of there. If we sit down underneath it, maybe I can grab it. Uh, I can do it. I'll do it. Did you, um, do you hear anything about that CTD? Or is it systems online right now? They're, okay. uh, right, they're working that. on it. Time did the ROV move? <laughs> so when you're doing that, when you see the ROV camera move, yeah, that means you're pushing the ROV around. So yeah. <coughs> okay. Should we try try again? Uh, when I back off, you can. Hold on. Let me put my hand on the control on the uh, handle no. so we don't pull it off. Not yet. So when I back off. Um, Maybe we'll try it now. Um, hold, on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay. Oh, no. Oh. No. Well, that's loose, at least we know that. Um, yeah. Okay, grab it. Sorry, I was going to have your porch in first. But <laughs> Grab it, grab it, grab, grab, grab. Good. Okay, hold what you got. Hold what you got. Yeah, good morning. Hold what you got. I'm mate. trying. Let's freeze. What's that? Oh, oh yeah, no big. The quiet acknowledgement. <laughs> yeah. Um, I was gonna, what I was gonna try and do there is um, porch in while I was still pushing against it. Do you well, have a good grab on it? I have enough of a grab I can get straightened out. Roger. Let me know if I can go live and push it back in. Yep. Go ahead. Okay. Um, okay, I'm going to let go and we grab. No. No? Hold what you got. Keep some jam okay. on it there. Yep. I'm going to just bump the porch a little bit. Chase me in. Ready? Here we Perfect. go ahead. Beautiful.
Okay. I can hold this freeze there. That's good. Okay, I'm frozen. Nice save, Danny. Thank you. Add you your seat there. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just visualizing what possibly could happen oh, and look at all the trying to think 10 steps ahead. <laughs> I thought I'd be clever and retract the porch while we were still pushed up against the instrument. <coughs> it wouldn't have been the worst thing to drop it on the ground, but... Can you hit uh, one on the bubble for me? Bubble going to number one. Unfortunately, there's quite a bit of cable on the ground to the left. Yeah. Oh. Should probably, yeah, if you come up, you should probably be able to free it. There's a backup beeper. Knock one CTD over, branded for life. <laughs> <laughs> Not the first CTD I've knocked over. Well, at least you didn't knock over the tripod with a camera on it. Well, We've done that. Knocked over a few of those too. <laughs> I think it was one of our pilots backed into the tripod. Still worked. Okay, I think you're now caught on the bullhorn. Yep. Not caught, just pulling it tight. Just see the cable lift up just a wee hair there, is what we want it. How's your uh, grab on that thing, is it? Not what I want. It'll hold for now, but once we're in position to plug in, I want to reposition. Um. Let me wrap the camera back. Go ahead and turn the light back on for you. Go ahead and uh, reposition now. Want a good grab on it because we're going to be putting a fair amount of jam on it when we pull it off the bullhorn. So you can just let go of it and re grab. that. Yeah, you could put a little in the bank, like push it in a little, deflect the handle just a little for me. Okay. Like that? Yeah, but come towards the vehicle a little, so it's, and then push down on it, on the porch, pin it on the porch. Yeah, and let me get positioned. Yeah, that's good. Jam that. Okay. Okay, you happy? Yep. How long is this cable? Uh, 70 meters. Is anyone good at math? <laughs> Pardon? Is anyone good at math? <laughs> we should have 12 <laughs> meters extra, but there's a little bit of the bend obviously going to oh. the connector. And so if I come up and come back, or I can do the old X, Y, Z, up one, back one, up one, back one. What's your what's your altitude you're going to be flying at? Uh, I'm going to keep coming up. This for every one I come back, I'm going to Yeah, come I think up once one. you start seeing a little bit of tension on there, you can start coming down or something. I'll probably be okay. That's kind of not how we roll. I'm going to pull mm -hmm. it off the bullhorn so I keep coming up and back like this. Yeah. 
Can come up and back, get the whole thing suspended in the water column, and then lay it back down. <laughs> All right, so how high up do you go? normally go? Draw a triangle, right? So platforms here, come back one meter, up one meter, back one meter, up one meter. Okay, how far do you go back? That's what I'm asking you. You guys are good at oh, that. Yes. Okay, <laughs> I thought you said this is your normal method. We yeah, normally go I like 10 meters up and just back up. Really? So that's how we would normally do it. So. Well, then you're dragging it in the mud. Can't see how much G2 you is got confirmed off of it. power off now. So. Okay. Megan, you're good at math, right? It should be 1.4 times uh, on a 45. If you rise go on over, a rise over, run. I have an app for that, but it's kind of hard <laughs> to app right now. The thing is, here. Well, what's she? Yeah, I don't get what give you want me, me to. Give me your pen. Okay. But the bullhorns aren't pointing at 45. They're just... It's 70 meters long, so if I back up, how, how am I going to be and how far away? Let's, I need this number and that number for some angle less than 45. That would be 70 divided by 1.4. will give you your angle horizontal minus whatever the distance give is to the, the connector, the but baby. it's not necessary. Give me the baby, not the labor. <laughs> What's that? What are you saying, Dan? Give me the baby, not just the labor. Just tell them the answer. <laughs> <laughs> just, just back up. That's the answer. Yeah. You don't need to go up 45 meters. I'm not going to go up 45 meters. Okay, 30 degree angle. All these engineers, and I can't get a simple trigonometry answer. Well, I don't think it's an angle that you're looking for, right? It's just the distance. So looking that for just the rise and the one. Yeah, right. He doesn't want to drag the cable over the ground. Yeah, I want to have it in the water column a little because if I'm dragging it over the ground and it comes tight on the bullhorns, then I can't see, you know, it's pulling on the cable the whole time. This is the way. Okay, <laughs> I don't. <laughs> but literally hundreds of these cables. What is our distance to the platform right now? Right, well, i got to move the ship, but... Um, you can come up on the... Uh, we've you got... Mind uh, your other business there. Come up, on the, come up on the... Come up on the... Bridge nav. Good morning. Uh, can we make a 20-meter move east, please? All right, let's get there. Do it. <laughs> We got 22 meters left. Twenty-five, good, Dan. Uh, keep coming up. So yeah, maybe one up, three back, something like that. <laughs> Then you have a nicely laid out cable, not a big giant mess. Mm. Easy. Is that you pulling me? That's yeah. Me pulling that Ship's moving. You can uh, spin around uh, counterclockwise and look at uh, her clear. That'd be great. Yep, what can I?
Uh, you'll have to come back down, Danny. It's too tight. I can't. You pulled me. Let's yep. see what happens. 30 meter delta is probably good. It's far away. It's weird. I stopped at 30, but you went back down. Oh, I went back down. Yep. Uh, let's see. Sorry. Now you're coming back up. I am. That's probably good there, man. Back down now. <clears throat> What's our uh, distance right now to the platform? We should be right on top of it. Okay. Look at these happy fishes. <laughs> there it is, right below us in the bubble camera. Do these sablefish just always hang out like this, or is it a nighttime thing? It's like always like this here. <laughs> yeah. Okay. This side and the node and upper slope will have just fish like this coming the whole down, time. Down. Yeah. Yep, coming down. Oh, there it is. about 25 meters. Uh, 30 should be enough for him. open up slack there. Maybe. So why did we put the ADCP so far away? Not sure. That's what they requested. The scientists requested. Okay. <laughs> Not sure why he wants it this far. With the bubble camera, it was to get closer to the bubbles that he's looking at. Mm -hmm. Not sure about the ADCP. Looks like there's already some Beautiful. film on it. Yeah, <laughs> like this is <laughs> brand new. Yeah. It's already got schmutz on it. How can you tell? Oh, oh yeah, what is that? It's like a bag. <laughs> I have no yeah. idea. It looks like some sort of mucus. Yeah, hagfish. Yeah, ew, gross. 
could it be a, what do you call those things? A larvation house or something? Oh, no, those are a lot smaller. Are they? Okay. okay. I'm going to disconnect and let go of my connector. Yeah, yeah you're good to connect that. I wonder if we can do... Do you, so want anyway, to, you want to throw that pipe off of there? Yes. Do that first, just to get it out of the way. Yeah. And do, you, do you know if there's any way to get like a best guess on how level this thing is? Like if we can squish it into the mud to make it more level if it's not currently level? Uh, they put that pipe right over top of it and tight. Maybe can you, it might have to come this way over the connector. Okay. Either way, I guess, yeah. yeah. Come out. Well, let's, let's less on let's top of the instrument. Let's do the connector first, get okay. free of the cable, and we can come around into the current and play with it. Might have to. This is going to have to go under the starboard oh. box. Starboard gotcha. box is open. I think Simon is chief officer. <laughs> Simon, can I get the other starboard box cam? Really? I think this was before Simon. This was 2021 in March, so definitely Tully. Need two cameras. To put that. No, I guess box. I don't. Not that fancy, but <laughs> I'm giving you crap. <laughs> I prefer to have. Uh, I don't know. I it says something. Manipulator operator. I don't know what it says. <laughs> well, I could just toss it and hope for the best. <laughs> <laughs> Zoom, scam, and so I've got mm -hmm. I'm just enjoying the fish. Do you think they have a card in that deck of how to prepare them? Oh, well, yeah, I think there probably okay, was. Can we get a zoom on <laughs> that connector real quick so I can see which way it's facing? I should look facing. it up. Okay, they look tasty. So oh. it's facing <laughs> that way. That's a okay. good call, Danny. That's good thinking. So I pick it up, rotate, and... That so was a good use of zoom. You don't want to yeah, look like an idiot <laughs> trying to put it on with a pin. Put the it in the place. wrong way. <laughs> <laughs> He's been, yeah, the chicken bucket. Oh, like, it was so yesterday. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, I think we've learned if there's an arrow, something's funny. I something's may have funky. done this before. Why didn't I think to do that? Don't These fish look. must like the light, though. I feel <laughs> like this is not natural. But it's funny, we don't see them the whole... We transited two kilometers from and you didn't see the any coral cliffs. We saw the odd one. Oh, wow. You know, but now there's like a hundred of them. Maybe yeah. a dozen over the whole transect, if that. Yeah. They just like it down here. Well, so like these flat areas are good foraging for fishes like this. They don't usually hang out on the cliffs. I mean, a yeah, no. Well, uh, this is, yeah, so yeah sure. as soon as we got to the flat area here, right? It's just these fish all over. Yeah, even at the top of the canyon, you'll probably see like fish aggregations That's like this. Right they there. just don't Can like those right steep position? areas. But the rockfish like it. The front of the ROVs floating a little bit. Yep, no problem. Yeah, so where Fabio does these uh, caught experiments, mm -hmm. they're up at the top of the canyon. And there's just as many. Yeah. But none in between for some reason. Yeah, they, yeah, they don't like, you know, slope for some reason. Racking out, so don't smack me. Yep, no problem. Uh, can I get a zoom a little bit? Do we need to give uh, systems a heads up? They're on standby. They're on standby already. Nice. Yeah. Well. That's in. Squish. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Wait for this to come back a little bit. Yeah, they're pushing the ROV up a little, so it's going to come back down. Make that look so easy, it's so irritating. <laughs> <laughs> no, right? <laughs> <laughs> Just 
bounce that in. Yeah, yeah it's in. No. Nope. Might have bounced back a little bit. Now actually. I'm going to give it a little push. Yeah, it might not be in. There now it's in. Yeah, the transducer like was almost a <laughs> oh, casualty no, that's of uh, I was like, ah, I'm going to get swing, away from that. Swing, swing, right? So, transducer is replaceable, the Zeus cam is not. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, zoom in there for us, video. So I'm that looks in. Match. And then, uh, Jeb was saying Trevor put a zip tie on this pairing to keep yeah. it out of the ROV Oh, yeah, I see port, it. Yeah, I see so it there. Oh. So I just got to yank it up. Okay, go wide. Up or down or any way you want. And after that, if we can think of a way to get this as level as we can. Yeah, we'll just That'd be hard to tell. But bash on it for a while with a manipulator. <laughs> so you're happy. <laughs> All right, nice. Like, it does look like the side with the bumper sticking up a little bit. Yeah. Any tricks here for... Oh. oh. That looks a lot better. Perfect. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Look how level it is. And uh, we might want to... Well, can we get an orientation <laughs> through the bubble cam? Is that possible for this thing? We look pretty square on, yeah. We're dead square. Yeah, yeah. and Nav, I, I'd like a uh, location for this. Yes, uh, of Just course. Just a confirm location. So, location is up on the high pack screen. Roger. Okay, so everything is nice and clear. Um, so what was that, 300? Heading, heading? three, zero, zero. Nice. And then something on here, Sean, there's some distinguishing character, like there's that sticker. I don't know if that says anything, but... Can we zoom in on the sticker on there? Yeah, just let's to take a look at just it. Just to see if that's like a north marker or something. The one that says six? Is that what it says? Go ahead. Pick six. Looks like a six. Zoom, zoom, zoom. Oh, it's just a washer. A washer. Just a little plate. Okay. Anyways, I'm yeah. sure we can tell from from that. We have enough information there. Should we push the um, tube off the grating? No, I think that's fine. It okay. doesn't matter there. Yeah, push just it give off. me one second. <laughs> I'm just gonna make sure we didn't miss any steps. Thanks, Megan. I have that location. You're welcome. Nice. Okay. Um, can you? request that they turn on J7, JB05. Okay, can go in. Sure. And then if we've got the orientation and position, we can um, go back to the IP. Roger. Okay, just one moment. Oh. You can uh, move the ship back if you want, Megan. Can do. <laughs> Bridge, nav. It's not a very healthy looking Are you guy. ready? We're going to go back the way we came. Uh, throw back. <laughs> <laughs> so that's uh, 20 meters west. Oh, we forgot to put our parking position in the... Look at that. There's just so many of them. How many fish wow. do you count? Take a guess. Yeah, this is when I just give up on counting and I do a categorical abundance. <laughs> yeah. Many. Yes, there are many. It is like 50 to 100. Yeah. Yeah, you got to count like a portion of the screen and times it by four or something. Yeah. This is where you get FathomNet to count for you. Uh, it makes it much easier. But it's like hard with fish because they're moving all the time, so you're like, don't know which ones you've counted already. Yeah. You're like, there might be new ones, but these ones seem to be following us. <laughs> or what do you do when the same fish goes in and out of view? Oh, yeah. Count they're they're always in coming in and out. Yeah. So is that a new you fish? really just do max n so like the maximum number you ever see at one time is like how many mm -hmm. 
So how many poor uh, dolphins do you think were next to the boat today? I didn't even see the dolphins. I missed it. I was sleeping. Yeah, I also missed it. Um, I'm going to say maximum, maximum like 60, I want to say. That's so many 60. dolphins. That's a lot. Yeah. I wish I saw them. That would have been cool. Dolphins. When I guess dolphins? we could estimate how many albatross were hanging out by the <laughs> CTD wire this afternoon. They were so excited. And we were so disappointing for them. I didn't just give them nothing. So disappointed I missed the other dolphins, the the right whaled yeah. dol porpoise dolphin or whatever. I didn't see those oh, either. Oh, yeah. I've never seen them before. I've never seen them either. They had a resemblance to orcas. Oh, yeah. that's almost perfect. Almost. Could have pulled the rest of it off there. No, it doesn't have to come off. It's fine. All, All right, right, so next on the to-do list. Our wounded CTD over here. Yeah, let's, yeah, let's rate go. that CTD. Let's go triage that. <laughs> <laughs> Poor CTD. Stupid place for a CTD. <laughs> <laughs> Who put that there? It's probably you. Probably. <laughs> Why don't we pick it up and move it out? Like it's, Look how close it is. <laughs> don't they know ROVs have to work around here? <laughs> Doesn't look that there's very much cable watch, there. Just watch the net on your left there. Yeah, luckily Ed from shore was saying that the readings on this CTD didn't look too out of character. Well, all the the intakes are all at the bo at the bottom. Okay. So the, all the intakes are sticking up in the water column. Luckily. Yeah. So I think. The surest way to have the CTD not fall off is to grab it by the PVC, which is what the CTD is itself. If we just lift the platform, it might go flying off. Yeah, right. I think it can. Okay. Yeah, it really got to test me. Uh, what we're going to do here is I'm going to land and we're going to grab that Fletcher and put it in the box. That's a good idea. Yeah. That's Can always you, a frustrating uh, battle. Come down five meters on the Atlanta. Coming down five meters. Okay, J7 is powered on. That's the ADCP. It. it is? Okay. Yeah. You might have a cheater here with this little string as an option. Well, I don't want to lift the CTD up off of it. Yeah, it might be hard to hold as you're grab rolling it, but whichever you find easiest. I'm going to try to grab right at the interface between the PVC and the steel. Grab the Fletcher first and put yep. it in the box. Can I have downward lights? Thank you. All right. I can get a picture of this. Yeah, so I think we're pretty oh. contact. Contact. Okay. Ah. Ciao for that CTD. It's a <laughs> real annoying place. <laughs> so we can either fly it up by the instrument or we can tilt it up by the foot. So the only thing I don't want on your this back part of the CTD is where all the send yeah. that's the intake to all of it so Project. if that touches the mud then we have a likelihood of plugging it so Project. I'm worried if we push on the leg it's just going to keep sliding down Project. it might not happen but that's the worry so if we can oh, we'll fly try it, it no I'll fly it up and then the the PVC is a safe place to grab. Also, that rope at the end is we'll a safe place. We'll to grab. grab the rope that way. If I slip it off there, we'll. I was going to pinch the CTD right at the base where it touches the metal. We'll grab the rope. <laughs> okay.
Well, we'll have to fly it up, Danny, so. Because you can't obviously reach that far. See the little white tape right there? Let me know when you want me to let go. Uh, I'd say you can let go. Yes? Yep, let go. Nice. nice. Um, can we get a location for that, about. Nev? Sure thing. Oh, where's my mouse? Come here. Quick come. Um, what do you guys think about Please grabbing go. the PVC and just shaking a little bit of that off, or is that too, too much potential for error, for disaster? Potential for disaster. I, I tell you, yeah, that's just a sounding board, I agree. If we can just get a view from the other side as well, just to see if there's any clogged mud or anything like that. Roger, I could put that arm away. Yeah, that's what I'm in the process of doing. Roger. Thanks, Megan, I got that location now. Hey. It'd be really cool if the digital stills was somehow metadata into the he heading of the ROV. That would be cool. Like if it automatically captures your location and your heading. Yeah, and saves it in the file, that'll be sweet. Let me know when you want me to ask systems to turn it back on. Uh, now it's fine. Okay. Looks like fine. Yeah, I think even the pump outlet was pointing up, so nothing touched the mud. Great, that's best case. All right, that's sweet. Okay, can I knock it over again? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, we might not have time for that. Um, so you, the question is, we don't want to recover um, the ROV before three, Why? because um, something to do with, they wanted to do it on the fresh crew change on the fresh shift change or whatever that was the request made. But there is still more stuff that we have to do. We still have to take push cores. Um, we still have to clean the camera lens with the T-Boss. That's an extra. That wasn't part of the original plan, but Fabio said there is some fouling on the lens. Where is the camera? Uh, follow that cable that what? you can see, it. the green Sorry. cable. This green cable? Yeah, that one there takes you to the camera. But also there's also the kind of the mystery of are we going to be able to lift that ADCP off of that frame without having to do more? It looked like we had it off pretty much. We just took yeah. the forklift underneath it and <laughs> lifted it up off. <laughs> the basket. Did you see forklift. The, the test lift. You don't even have to uh, pick it up. 
Just lift it off your basket. We'll exactly. I mean, we'll just grab a hold of it with the arm. Under it. Okay, so we're going to leave that kind of less and give ourselves some time to deal with that. Yeah. We'll have to uh, dispose of some shot bags first. Yeah. There's no camera here. What is, what is that? Oh, just to your left, there should be another green camera. That's a, that's a, is that an aquadop? Okay, should we wipe it? Yeah, okay, we, can we land here for a second? Sure. What is this? This is a Nortec an ADCP. Aquadop. Looks very... Nortec Aquadop, yeah. Buried. <laughs> so I think for the next few jobs, it's going to be um, T-Boss. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's going to be fun to get fish out of the box. Oh, and there's some, are those some um, Elven weights up here? Is that stop with that? Uh, those don't look like Elven weights. They might be a bag. They are Elven weights. It would be good for us to mark it. So after this, if we can zoom in and just have a look at that. Okay. Once we're done. Okay. Looks like, a, looks like a two stack. Let me know when you're going to do that next time, please. Oh, extremely disconcerting. <laughs> Sorry. Can you even see it in there? I think the T-Boss is the really long. Yeah, it's black. the thing with the black with the Just stripes on the end. Yeah. Close your eyes and use the force. Root around in there and grab <laughs> Yeah. Back there, I don't care so much. <laughs> Anything there is ROV. Where did Fabio want his push cores again? Where? Yeah. He said anywhere. Anywhere? All right. He said wherever we are landing anyways, but save them. Probably something not very disturbed. Yeah. Undisturbed sediment. Is that T-Boss? Okay. Yeah, but you got to shake, shake, shake a little. Whoa. Hello. Uh, no, 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 no. You stay in. <laughs> you kind of got the works. I think Rotate. Trevor zip tied those Rotate together. Your wrist. What? No, I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> that would have been some talent. That would have been frustrating. Uh, All the tools there. come up in some big daisy chain. It's oh, like, okay, that'd be pick awful. Your tool. Oh, it's like Rotate it is like a. Wrist, no. Oh, it's the monkey's fist. Oh, there oh, we go. Yes. You got it. Good work. Nice T boss grab. Okay, so in between here. Can you let us know when they hear back from the CTD or well. ADCP? Thanks. Yep. Uh, yeah, I mean, currently with the ADCP, it seems like power is on, but we can't communicate with drivers. It's probably IP related. Um, yeah. Um, and then CTD systems is just working on that right now. So, so the thing here, um, before we start, very gently over those, but like, it's, it cannot be a scrape. It can only be the tips of the bristles cleaning them off. Yep. We don't want to make it worse. We'll get close and then we'll zoom in. If you have to take some practice swings across the top and miss, <laughs> so that's fine. Give me a zoom. Too late, doesn't matter. That's fine. Oh wow. Yeah, that's that's it about as hard as you want to go on that. Actually had sensors. So there's also a third one, but then mm -hmm. that's good enough. You're, uh, moving around quite a Which bit. Which is pretty good. Well, nope, I'm good. I'm happy. I just wanted to get the end of it. And I just want to kind of come in here and just do a little. <laughs> Can we annotate the? I guess you're already annotating this to see if there's any kind of change in the data. Sure. You can touch it. Just I'm getting there. It. Yeah, take your time, <laughs> Danny. This is P professional <laughs> uh, bush cleaning right here. <laughs> you read this. <laughs> Put that on your resume. <laughs> You've used the G boss before. Actually, I have. Not this one. We have our own version. Oh, uh, just yeah. 
Just that wait, that? wait for Viz there. Yep. Oh, and the colander of science. <laughs> <laughs> Just wait till we pull out the wire reel of science. Mm -hmm. <coughs> and the beer stein of science. I think I have uh, one of those heads. Are there only three heads on here? It's only three, but I think your T-Boss is full of mud right now. I might have to give it a shake. Yeah, I'll give it a shake. And maybe give it one more gentle wipe across all of them. Just, I think we've stirred it up a little bit. Yep, wait for visibility. Okay, the CTD is confirmed power on. That wrist is proportional, by the way. Oh, not so much. It's a lot. Nope, nice and gentle. That's it. That's perfect. That's good. That first one doesn't look, still looks like it's fouled, but... Does it? Okay, let's have a look at that one. When you press the wrist button, too slowly. I'm okay, not yeah, let's, let's have another go at that one. Might just be sediment if you can even just wave it off. There we go. Yeah, I think that's way better than what we started with. I think that's the best you're going to get. Yeah, perfect. Can we get a zoom in on that and just maybe like, so they can take a screen grab later? Go ahead, Pete. I think that's good work. Thank yeah. you. Thank you very much. Next up, <laughs> okay, the camera. Oh, can we zoom in on those two things over by the, kind of over here? I just want to check if that's a weight or a, or just you want to bag. Put your arm in and mm -hmm. uh, that's good. Go ahead, Pete. You're going to arrange a bearing to the... Uh, Elven weights? What do we think? Looks it looks like, like a bag. Orange bag. Orange bag. I'm really getting elven weights out of this. Really? I don't know what it is. Too looks, far away uh, to looks like cloth to me. Yeah. It's, a sp okay. it's over 10 Go meters. Away. Okay. Well, that's good. I think. You have a range of bearing to the camera from here? Yeah. Or a bearing? I don't need a range. Oh, wait. There's another green cable to follow. Yeah, the cable. That's it. Never mind. I'll just follow this green cable and see what happens. Uh, yeah. There's cameras in this general vicinity. So th this is it up Can here. We, uh, move the ship uh, <coughs> 20 meters towards. Move our. Uh, so uh, just uh, mind the larval Atlanta. traps right there, right? We don't want to go anywhere near them. Yeah, I will Atlanta move. Towards Herc. How should I go about 20, 20 meters? meters? Yeah. That's my default. Bridge nav. Give you about hey, 25 uh, meters. Can of, uh, we do a 20 delta. meter move uh, to 80? Thank you. Yeah, I'll we'll just we'll wait for it. So. Hey Jeff, do you mind? Going through this camera wipe, just the lights on the lens, and just as you do it, just right, got T boss this or this, whatever. I just gotta go switch my laundry over. Windshield wiper of science. <laughs> it's all in the wrist. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but slower, slower. Embroidered bag of science. Is there a camera lens here somewhere? Is, it, is this the camera? Yeah, it looks a little uh, different than the other ones, doesn't it? Yeah. This one says it's the oh, sonar. Yeah. It is a camera. It's yeah. hiding underneath. I see. Uh, yeah. <coughs> we kind of set it up so that the tripod can stay on the bottom and we can slide out the camera package later. Yeah. Yeah, you can see one of the lights on the right on that oh camera. Yeah, that's like fun. Yeah. Black wing. Toilet brush of science. <laughs> yes. Move it, Bishy. 
<laughs> the lens looks clean. Now yeah, we'll take a close look and see. It does look reflective, doesn't it? Zoom in there for us. Yeah. It's looking pretty good. I don't think we should touch it. Yeah, even the lights look nice and clear. Now, Fabio did say there was a bit of fouling on there. Is there? Um, on that mirror finish. Hmm. So. Well, I'd say give it one gentle wipe, maybe. Yeah. I think you're going to end up being worse than it is. You think it could make it worse? Yeah. yeah. I wouldn't touch it. All right. It looks, uh, I don't know. Can you zoom in? Any? Are we going to need more zoom? I thought there was a different instrument that Fabio wanted cleaned, not the camera. I mean, that looks that great. That looks, looks great, brand new. It was the first <laughs> instrument we happened upon. It was. Yeah. Okay, well, we won't touch the camera then, Jake, if you. Okay. You yeah, can dig deep in the memory. I don't have that note here. <clears throat> Another instrument on this. Not on the camera. It was. Yeah, I'm I just forget how. It's probably far the away from here it was. Just I'm just looking at our site diagram here to see what else we've got going on. Well, let me know if I can stow the toilet brush of science. We have a Kronzberg. Just hang on to it for now, Danny. We'll it might have been the Kongsberg. I think it was the Kongsberg. It was pretty fouled. Okay, is that one that's mounted on the platform, Sean? Do you know, or is it standing on its own? Uh, it's standing on its own, I believe. Yeah. It was in a different location. Oh, okay, I see it. It's connected to a 70-meter cable. Yep. Okay, yeah, Danny, hold on to the brush. We'll go over and visit the Kongsberg. Standing somewhere. by with the TBOS. Thank you. <coughs> Nav, can you point us in the right direction for the uh, Kongsberg monument there? Uh, okay, so that looks like... It is 18 meters at 206. Thank you. <coughs> Thanks, Jake. Yep. I couldn't remember what the name of name of it was, but <laughs> as soon as you said one. it, as soon as you said it, I was like, "That's yeah. it." <laughs> Hard to mistake that name for something else. <laughs> yeah. Gotta be this other mess of cables then, eh? We are practicing our Bridge braiding. Now. Yeah, watch that. Hey, uh, can we make yeah, another twenty does. meter move at two four zero? Thanks. Go right over top of that net. Yeah. That's another CTD. Um, where is, or is that? that the thing? I think I, I'm not too sure. That looks like the dirty thing. I you think that's to the clean. dirty it's thing dirty. Yeah, that we wanted to clean. Yeah, that looks pretty dirty. <laughs> yeah, there's there's no second CTD at this place, so. Um, uh, yeah, this is a Konsberg. That's under oh. there somewhere, right? Yeah, so <laughs> Put the, um, brush it's hard out to tell what it is. <laughs> the camera, Danny. It's quite encrusted. <laughs> what uh, it looks like is it's got like an ET. Put it facing down right in the middle of the camera, close close to the vehicle. This is Danny, before you touch, let me walk you through what you're cleaning. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, Probably some okay, uh, sensitive there. transducers or something. Yeah, but it's special because it kind of has like a hammerhead at the top okay. that rotates, and you can't rotate it when it's not trying to, when the motor's not trying to spin. So, on the front face, it has like a long rectangular transducer that you have to clean without spinning it. So, the far side would be the front of it. Uh, can you bring the minute? Closer to the vehicle there. But out 
this out in front of the porch. There you go. That's good. Yeah, it's got a flat face kind of that direction. You can kind of see it Yeah. on the far side. On the far side? Yeah, it's not the top, but that is the top, like just uh, on yeah, the opposite plane of that. Kind right? of Gently touch it here, so we'll see what happens. Stay frozen there for me. I'm frozen. Nope. Stick them in about just, uh, yeah, move your yacht. Yeah, that's good. Zoom in there a touch for us, Pete. If you want to give yourself a, a good reference, more. you can wipe the top first, and then you'll kind of know good. what I'm talking about. I can stick the mini out a little farther if you want. No, the closer to the vehicle it is, the easier it'll be to touch it. Uh, I don't think we can do this while flying, so if we can't sit down, then we shouldn't. We shouldn't. We won't be able to reach it sitting down. No. Won't be able to see it. It's pretty tall. How tall is it? Just out of curiosity. It might, it's not as tall as the CTD. We're at three right. meters right now. We're at we three can meters? Oh, shoot. I can just barely touch it there. Just give me a minute. I can give you a wish a windshield washer effect if you want. No, I don't want to move the minute. We're gonna move the minute behind the vehicle, we'll smear it. Add another variable. Yeah, just across the front. That's at least that base, yeah. Yeah. Too much, way too much for us. Yeah. <coughs> it's powered off, right? No. Nope. Probably should yeah, just it just off. get out of there. We should. We can't do it like this. Yeah, that's not gonna work at all. Oh. We'd have to. Uh, sound effects don't help. Can we just? We could uh, grab onto it. Like, you know, if I move the nip while the we're past. trying to fly, it's just going to be. I mean, it's, it's more a lot cleaner than what it used to be. I can touch it again. No, no, no. No, no, we shouldn't fly up to it again. But if we. Can we land and just zoom in? I just want to see. Well, I don't know. I'm three meters up right now. Yeah, this is a three meter tall platform. Yeah, but there's nothing we can do. We can't clean it. It's clean right now. Right. Yeah, it's challenging to be uh, gentle in there with this current. Yeah, so, but I mean, there's no growth in front of it. That's good enough. Okay, I'm done with that. Done brutalizing this instrument. <laughs> Who's down below? It's kelp. Kelp. Stuff, huh? All right. Back over the herc net to the IP. Are we done with the T-Boss? Yeah. We're done with the T-Boss, yeah. Put the T-Boss away. Right. Hindsight, that's something to think about next time we make these transducers. Just don't make them three meters tall. Well, yeah, it'd be 
grab on with the vehicle, then, you know, you can... Yeah, hold it in your hand and clean it. Yeah. Uh, it's hard to, like... It's like when you pour something for somebody and they're holding the glass. It's really difficult. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, it's challenging. And then you do it on a boat, and you're like, oh, no. <laughs> That's, we've cleaned them that way before. Just By holding up. it? Yeah, just no, just fly up and touch them a few times. Yeah, I think that's. that's we definitely the got rid of most of the growth there. Anyways, you can, you can rotate the head while they're off. It doesn't hurt them. As long as you don't <laughs> rapidly <laughs> rotate them. I remember is yeah. Yeah. This fish is just sideways. Okay, so now we want to we want five push cores. This so looks like a good spot. Anywhere where it's undisturbed. We can land and take all five. Roger. You mean like no <laughs> fish disturbance? <laughs> <laughs> no, fish disturbance is fine. Roger. Um, last thing I heard is they were, well, they've established power, but they're just having difficulties setting up the IP and getting a driver to communicate with it. But on our end, it sounds like everything's working. And uh, you want to try these? Yeah. So, hey, grab them from the top or from the side? Can you the location Whatever for this? You gotta, Bob grabs them from the top, but you know, it's hard to, yeah. yeah. I okay. grab them from a 45 personally, but however, whatever you're comfortable with. No, nope. let's see what happens. Try one, if I don't like it, I'll give it to you. All right. Getting them out, either getting them back in before the core falls out without Shaking them is is fun. Yeah, these are kind of a weird position. We're probably coming up against our time too, so. Actually, sure, our time looks pretty good right now. Yeah, we're not that deep, so... Half an hour. We've got an hour and 15 minutes. Like, that's so not our max time, that's just the time that we want the earliest kind of thing. All right. So we can milk it till shift change? Three o'clock? Yeah, yeah um, that, what that was the plan. Specifically what Allison <laughs> said is um, they want to... Um, do the shift chains before the recovery of the ROV. You know, I don't know if that means that uh, you want to leave bottom or there's a convenient place to shift, wait. To what shift change? Your chi the ROV shift change. ROV shift change, yeah. So that everybody is awake? For the recovery. Can I go oh. back to full, full screen? Uh, I can put it there in front of you. Sure, that works. Because... Uh, but we can we can recover at a different time. We just have to wake other people up. Yeah, that's it. They're not going to need us for shift change, really. So you want to put that one all the way to the left, and then put them out there in a little array. Yeah. See, so if we recover around three, then we only have to wake up Mike. But if we recover at another time, we have to wake up like at least four other oh, people. Oh yeah. So sure. we should be we should be. Yeah, at 75 meters at 3 o'clock. Like right there? Sure. Yeah, that's any any spots, any clear spots. It's good. Nav, could you grab a location, please? Of course. 
That's deep enough. Oh, that's a oh. good one. That's mm. too deep. <laughs> <laughs> Smash. So if you go too deep, it pushes the sample up into the... Again, when you do that, you want to be able to see the tip of the manipulators, right? You yeah. You couldn't see what you were doing there. Should have had them zoom in. Do you want to do the next one? No. Thanks, Nav. Uh, just Practice to let you know, perfect. these cores will basically have the same Latin long, so... Oh, okay. If, if you want to label them all under one label, that's fine. Like that? Yeah, something like that. I didn't know if we were like going to pick up and move like three meters and... No, these should, we should all be resting on the seafloor when we're grabbing these. All right, thanks, Megan. You can get rid of that. Okay. You should put some handy-dandy tape on the core tubes so you know how far to go. What, you you copying uh, our, our, our strategies? <laughs> should tell that to Fabio. It, it works. It totally works. Because you know, like, oh, oh, can't go past there, but then, you know, it's like you know that you have to go at least to that point. Where do you want this one? To the right of that one, or to the left of it, doesn't matter. So kick, before you start, right now, the kick the yaw all the way to the left. So I can see the jaws all the way, left, left, one. Looking on it. There you go, now you can see what you're doing. You can actually come to the left of that one now. And we can ask video to zoom in a little bit. Yeah, that's a great idea. Now you can see what you're doing and you see when to stop, but that wrist, yeah. Okay. Give her. In nice and slow. Okay, that's good, 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 good. Yeah, it's also a little too deep. You can pull back just a little before you release so the arm doesn't slam into the seabed. Mm hmm. Okay, next one. Are we just putting them all in first and then pulling them all out? The idea is you put it in the array, and then you're not disturbing the other ones, because if you pull that one up as you go across, oh, and all the stuff's out. dribbling out, and they're not getting the whatever. It's the kind of genius. The bent yeah, those on the top, right? That makes sense. Well, we've done this in the past. It was like, put down, take one, put it away, move like five meters and then yeah, do it again. Because that's the hallway. When yeah. You, when you do an array, way. you can, it depends on what the scientists want, right? Yeah, I guess so, yeah. Whatever they want. But, yeah, usually when they sit down, do an array, you go left to right, so you start on the left, and then you're, you're not disturbing the, depends on how particular they are about the top layer, or whether they want the Mm -hmm. you know, the full range. I'm sure Fabio will be fine with this. Yeah, I think he's interested in the layers down, not just the top yeah. millimeter. So if they want just the top, if you go too far, it disturbs it. Oh yeah, it gets all blows it all up mm -hmm. through the. And then it's gone because yeah. that top. Like little millimeter, it has a lot of unique properties. Yeah. But this so is shallower, so. It's right. good to get that motion because you're going to have to do that opposite motion when you go back. Mm -hmm. So practice as you come out, keeping it uh, level. <coughs> vertical. Yep. I'm more good. A, uh, again, that lever is proportional. <laughs> <laughs> Don't press it so hard. Okay, we'll do a zoom there. Maybe a little more. Oh, yeah. And then
slow and steady on the press. You don't lift the vehicle up. Oh, that's good. Then pull up just a little. It doesn't hurt to pull back just a little before, um, then when you let go, you're coming up, not down. Okay. It's not going to go anywhere in the mud, right? Yeah, the way I'm used to doing it is uh, crane mode with the Orion. Straight in. Yeah, the hard thing about crane mode is getting it back in, in here. Oh, I can imagine in this orientation. Yeah, you got, almost got to do them 45. You can't get the thing high enough and straight. I mean, you can try it, but I've always done them. You can see the angle of the arm there, right? It's a sweet yeah, spot. Yeah, it's not in a good position to do straight up in the air. No, and if you put them lower, then you can't see them. It's, uh, it's kind of a silly place for core tubes. How's he going over there? Um, shot. It's good. I'm um, just uh, grabbing all these here. What are you looking for in particular? Yeah. Oh. Honestly, I haven't, I haven't looked in a bit. Hold on. <sighs> yeah, Urkan's gonna power cycle the ADCP. Usually do my. You want to uh, dive in here, AJ? I usually do my dance you in up front here? here, so I'll leave it like that, swing it all the way around. Then when I get back out here where I can see, right. then I'll do the uh, the translate around to the other way. And then vice versa when I pull them out. You can do that one uh, closer to the vehicle, like even with the one in the middle, but to the right of it. Maybe a little further out, so it goes straight in. Like that? I think you're going to have to be further out to get it to go straight in. Elbow up. Okay. Video. Thank you. Gently rotate your wrist to the right a little. It's got the gamer's flick. <laughs> yeah, that's good. Perfect. Gonna get one without slamming it in the mud. Are we doing all five of these things? Yep. Roger. I was like, I don't know how much that is. <laughs> so when you practice the uh, not flicking the wrist, because when you go to put them back in, if you flick it that hard, it'll just start ejecting the core. Before recovery, um, you can also uh, go into proportional wrist or uh, position controlled wrist mode if that's easier. Probably will be. Because that's what I'm used to. Yeah, it's just I find it weird on this arm. I, I have a hard time doing the pitch in the yaw without doing the wrist. Doesn't, I can't get it to go where I want it to go, so I use it. 
great most. But I'm used to the sensitivity of that rocker. I'm gonna like slowly press and watch the thing till it starts moving. Can we take this one um, a little to the right? Like 0.5 meters is fine. Yeah, that should be good right there. Can I get a zoom? So this one you don't have to let go of. You can push it in, pull it back out, and rack it. Okay. Coming in. You can't see what you're doing, can you? I can. Cannot. <laughs> <laughs> I can see a manipulator. <laughs> Push the wrinkle. All right, let's rack it. You can swing fast. I know, I have to uh, want to swing relatively fast, watch it bubble. This mud is pretty sticky. Yeah. Look at that, perfect core. <laughs> See if I can get it in a hole now. <laughs> Is the challenge. Uh. Go away, and when you go in, go in slow too. Uh, you can let go of it there. If you go in too fast, it can't, it'll slide in there. You gotta kind of let it just fall. Does it need to be pushed in tight? Yeah, we usually give them a little love tap to seal them on the bottom. That's probably good. So if you pick up the other ones in that orientation, it'll be a little easier for you to get them back in. You won't have to translate around. I don't know if you can see to grab them. Maybe I can help the The hagfish has come to help. <laughs> Zoom in please, video. If you uh Yeah, you should be alright there. And you just have to yaw all right. See look how cute it is. Fish? Yeah. Don't you think it's cute? Yeah. In a really ugly sort of way? You'll have to kick your yaw actuator to the right. My yaw? Yeah. The uh, wrist yaw. Night dirt. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Otherwise, you won't be able to see. There you go. Beauty. That should be enough. Yeah, that mug's been there for days. I don't know whose it is. Mystery mug. It's a mystery. Maybe. I swear I'm like too far forward. Yeah, look at both cameras. I am. <laughs> My rear little hit the back side of it, I think. What's going on? Yeah, we we provide you those binders and then we take them. Let go of it there. 
notes. Yep. See ya. Beautiful. Hold on. For some reason, my alarm's going off, and I don't know why. <laughs> and it's going to go off again. But I'll tell it no. Open. At least it doesn't sing, you got to move it, move it. At the most inopportune time. I <laughs> think you were doing cores then, too. No, I was picking up the urchin, the, oh. <laughs> uh, balancing an urchin on my wrist. Good morning, folks. Good morning, Good morning AJ. Morning. How's everyone doing? Good. That's excellent. All right. We're push core in. Bonk. So these are just going to go in the fridge? Sure are, yep. Until our PI can address them. Sounds like a plan. It's going to be uh, snug as a bug in a rug right now, so <laughs> don't want to disturb. Yeah, cores can wait. Yep. That's what I was always taught about uh, marine geology is, uh, you know, it doesn't really matter um, when you go, so you can pick the best times for you. Yeah. And there's not like a, it's, geologic time is just so much slower. Yeah, I doubt much is going to change in the sediment uh, over like 10 minutes or whatever. Mm -hmm. That has already been gone through like eons, so. Yeah, you can pick like the best time of year to sample, and uh, when you get it back on on the on board, you don't have to like preserve it right away. Yeah. Because those corals, away. like you could collect a coral, you got to preserve it like instantly. Yeah. Well, that was weird. Biology waits for no one. The light was on, yeah, the dawn was right. still moving. Yeah, does that once in a while. Yeah, the ADCP is still kind of a mystery. Don't, don't really know what's going on with it. We've power cycled it. Video, can I get a... Still can't connect or ping. Beautiful. But it is drawing power, so that's a good sign. I wonder... I wonder if the junction box is showing any activity on that port of the switch. It is. I, I believe it is. Oh, okay. Yeah. Do we have the right IP? Well, we've tried that. Um, according to the marine config, yeah, it's the right IP. Um, Did you look at the instrument qualification ticket? Uh, I haven't. I can request Shore to do that.
cover is up. What's that? For five, Danny. That woke everyone up. <laughs> oh, my ear. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about that, everyone. No worries. That one snuck up on me. I was not. Mm -hmm. I was reaching for the mute button. One of the hazards of wearing headsets. Uh, uh, It's a very cool iridescent. Yeah. Really? Wow. <laughs> right here. Okay. Is J4 free? Sound effects AJ, you should take a look at this. It says from Beautiful, systems. Danny. Five There's a five. ticket related five to five. the previous well ADCP. Done. 
similar issue. Bonk. Five core tubes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Dime salvo. Jeb, did you notice the previous ADCP not responding at all? One. The last time this one was deployed, do I recall any issues? Yeah, the old AD ADCP. Oh, gee, that was a while ago. Um, it was. I can refresh myself on the ticket. I don't recall off the top of my head. Yeah. Seems like there were similar connectivity issues. Okay. According to systems. So now we go and pick up our ADCP? I uh, know no. if we could go back to the Kongsberg sonar, which is southwest. It's over here. Um, can I reset your DVL? Sure. What are we going to do with the Kongsberg sonar? We're going to take a heading. So before setting down, if we could align ourselves perpendicular to the sensing face. So, Sean, I see that during testing, the ADCB had an IP address ending in 1066. So that's right. consistent. Yeah, that's right there. With the latest comment in the qualification ticket. Yeah. But I see the deployed IP address is 42133. Yep. That's also what's on the marine configuration config. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, so testing IPs can be different from, from the deployment IPs. It's not uncommon to see that. Yeah, of course. I was just expecting to see a note in the ticket that says they changed it to the deployment IP. Right. Um, yeah. And do you have the ticket number handy for the last time they had the connection issue? Yeah, I'll, I'll request that from systems. Thanks. Oh, he already sent it. It's instrument 2162. Thank you. What heading do you want to know here? Which way the head's so, facing? Yeah, the head. It's hard to see <coughs> from here. Uh, it looks like you have to come around. Yeah, yeah. pretty much the other side of where, where you are. Don't you want to do an inverse? <coughs> um, I mean, we could. It would be good. I could come around. Yeah, it would be good to just see the face. Uh -huh. 